In today's video, I want to talk about some fun things to do while in Nashville, Tennessee. We'll subdivide this video into three parts, first starting with the downtown area, then moving to the northeast, then moving finally to the southwest. So we recently took a trip to Nashville, Tennessee. This was my first time in the city. It was kind of a very big little city, if you will. That is to say, it doesn't have a ton of people, but with the skyscrapers and everything that's going on in the city, it feels like this huge, grandiose area. In any case, let's start with the downtown Nashville area. Since we're approaching the summertime, you might want to check out the Nashville Sounds baseball team, their AAA ball club. Their ball field is really pretty. Got to run through it during the marathon. It's just a little bit outside the main downtown area, so pretty close. But if baseball is not your thing, there's also ballet at the Tennessee Performing Arts Center, which we walked by as we were walking around the city. While we didn't get to see a show, I hear the shows there are great. And if you're into dance in general, they have other dances as well at the Performing Arts Center. If baseball and dance aren't your thing, there's also a bunch of live music on Broadway. If you just walk down the street to Broadway during any given night, especially on the weekends when we were there, there are bunches of bands playing in any of the various bars. This music's pouring out onto the street, so you don't even have to be in the bar to hear the music, hear what's going on. But if you'd like to, they're jam-packed with people, people walking all over the streets. On the weekends, they shut down the street so you can walk easily across between bars. Even if bars aren't your scene, I'd say it's worth just walking around, seeing all the lights, hearing all the sounds. It's definitely a really cool experience. And the downtown Nashville area isn't that large, so you can see a lot of it while walking. Some other things to see while you're there are the Nashville Public Library. It's one of the prettiest downtown libraries I've seen thus far. They just did a really good job with the inside, with the presentation, as well as the collections inside. Also, a little bit further north from the public library, still in that downtown area, there's the Tennessee War Memorial, which features some Roman-esque architecture, which I thought was pretty cool. Last of all, if you'd like to see a full breadth of the city, that whole panoramic view, visit the John Sagenthaler Bridge pedestrian bridge. I may have mispronounced that if you are from Tennessee and you'd like to write in the comments how that's pronounced, I'd like to know. But it just gives a great view of the full city. You can also walk over the river and see the Nissan Stadium off to the side. You just get a great view of the whole area. As you're walking around the city, you might find yourself getting hungry. And there are a number of different places to eat. Some on the more healthy side, like E. Rose Wellness Cafe. They feature a bunch of acai bowls and toast. It's a nice setting in one of the newer buildings, 505 Nashville. It looks out across the street at the Presbyterian Church that's been there for more than a century, as well as a arts mural off to the right, and further down the street is Broadway. If you're looking for something more substantial, there's the Andrews Bakery and Cafe, just a little ways down the road, closer to the Nashville Public Library. They feature various sandwiches and pastries and coffee, all of which are delicious. I had the turkey avocado, which tasted great, as well as a little bit of a donut, which had a nicely toasted around the outside with some sugar. If sandwiches and pastries or acai and toast are not your thing, but you're still looking for a cup of coffee, maybe with some eggs to go along with it, check out the Frothy Monkey. They have a couple locations around the Nashville area. We visited the one downtown specifically. There's a bit of a wait, so be aware of that. Maybe plan out a couple hours uh, for that visit. We had to wait for about 45 minutes, but the food's pretty good. They feature all sorts of breakfast options that you can get at your convenience. They also have a takeaway coffee bar if you're just looking for something on the go. If these sound good, but maybe you're looking for something just a little bit fancier, you can check out Mimo's Restaurant and Bar in the Four Seasons Hotel, Nashville. It features a variety of different interesting takes on Italian dishes. They all taste pretty good. And if you're seated near the window, you can have a nice view, not only of the park and the river, but also of all the party buses rolling through the street. Nashville is a party city. We ran into a number of different groups that were coming for bachelorette, bachelor parties, so on and so forth. And on that note, if you're looking for a sweet way to top off the night, check out Jenny's Ice Cream. 
it's right off the street of Broadway. So pretty close to that whole scene. If you want to grab an ice cream and walk around. Next, we'll jump over to the Northeast. I'll focus on what there is to do and see because we didn't eat a lot in that area of town, but there is a lot to see and do. Three things in particular that I'll recommend are visiting the Grand Old Opry, which has shows pretty regularly throughout the week. It's some fun, wholesome, live entertainment featuring both artists that have been there a long time as well as new artists making a name for themselves in the music industry. If you're just looking for a place to hang out, maybe see some of the outside of Nashville and the greenery that surrounds it, check out the Shelby Bottoms Greenway or the Shelby Park. It's a nice place to just get away from the city. Last of all, there are a bunch of murals across Nashville. Some of them are smaller than you would expect, but all are pretty fun to see. And a lot of them are on that northeast side and pretty easy to find. The easiest way to find them is to just search for Nashville murals and find one with a map and just follow those map directions. Overall, we didn't have a problem finding the ones that we wanted to look at. Last of all, we'll shift to the southwest portion of the city. And in this portion, I'm going to focus on things to see and things to eat. Number one on things to see on the southwest side of Nashville is the Parthenon and Centennial Park. Centennial Park was created back for the Tennessee Centennial. It featured a variety of different buildings and different styles of architecture. The whole list of that history is in the Parthenon itself. The Parthenon is both a museum as well as a replica of what the Parthenon might have looked like. In the Parthenon, they had a bunch of different pictures from the Centennial to kind of show what it might have looked like. Moving further southwest, another fun place to check out is the 12 South neighborhood. It features different clothing stores such as Draper James, which is the store founded by Reese Witherspoon. It's a really fun store. I like how they put it all together. There's also a Buck Mason store just down the street. The whole neighborhood feels like a small localized neighborhood mall, which makes it a lot of fun. Last of all, if you're into botanical gardens or if you're interested in seeing some of the nicer houses that Nashville has to offer, head towards the Cheekwood Botanical Gardens. There are a bunch of nice houses along the way, getting progressively larger and the lots and the yards being progressively more grandiose. Once again, while traveling the southwest, you might find yourself a bit hungry. If you are closer to downtown, the Urban Cookhouse features a variety of light fare. If barbecue is more of your thing, head to Ed Lee's Barbecue at the 12th South neighborhood. They have pulled pork and brisket, banana pudding and beans, really everything that you'd expect for and want from the South and Southern barbecue fair. If you need some coffee after that, White Bison Coffee is right across the street, adjacent to the twice daily convenience store. Features a variety of different drinks inside of it. And if you'd like to, some sweets to cap off the meal, there's the Christie Cookie Company, which features some double tree cookies, as well as many other delicious favorites. All in all, Nashville was a fun place to visit, and I hope that if you're visiting for the first time, you also have a great experience. With that said, that's the end of the video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.